There are two newer treatments which have been approved by the FDA for treating Barrett's esophagus with high-grade dysplasia. Their long-term effectiveness has not yet been proven. The data collected to date, however, has been promising. One of them uses radiofrequency ablation. Ablation means to destroy. The physician uses an endoscope to insert a thin tube or catheter with a balloon at the end. The balloon has electrodes on the outer surface that deliver energy. The balloon is inflated, so the electrodes are touching the abnormal tissue. The physician delivers enough energy to destroy the tissue. Another treatment option, called cryotherapy, uses extreme cold to destroy abnormal cells. Cryo means freezing. A catheter is guided to the site of the abnormal cells through an endoscope. The physician sprays liquid nitrogen onto the tissue to freeze it and destroy the cells. This procedure may be repeated a number of times with a month or two in between. There are other treatment options available for high-grade dysplasia and cancer in the esophagus. Before deciding on any treatment, discuss the risks and benefits with your healthcare provider. Mayo Clinic has a very large team with an international reputation for its skill in diagnosing and treating reflux, Barrett's esophagus, and esophagus cancer. Mayo Clinic's Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology is recognized as number one by U.S. News & World Report. If you wish, you may have the opportunity to participate in a clinical trial of a new or improved treatment. Go to mayoclinic.org to find out how to request an appointment with a Mayo Clinic physician.